I just got a bachelor's degree in art. I don't know what to do with my life. I'm getting dental implants. Aren't they nice and long? I have started a trade school. The person I live with is successful and has a family and likes what she does for a living. And I live in her guest room and eat her food. Hello. So as you can see from the no longer purple background, I have moved out of my aunt's house. This is my very first apartment. And my family's probably like, it's about time. So I've been gone the past few weeks and it was because about a month ago my car broke down and my aunt came to pick me up and it went something like this. You okay, Beth? This is gonna completely wipe out my bank account. I mean, you can cry if you need to. I know it's <laughs> stressful having a car break down. <laughs> it's not that. I'm a failure as an adult. What do you mean? I don't have any money. And I can't even move out on my own. Honey, you can move out anytime you want. I can? Yes. You could get an apartment today. You just need to work more hours. You can get anything you want in life so long as you work hard enough for it. Oh. Alright. So later that day I went apartment hunting and I found a lease for this apartment. Yay adulthood! So I very rapidly packed up all my things, at least as fast as I could. Every time I move somewhere, I think minimalism. I should be a minimalist. Of course in college when I tried minimalism, I would throw away everything I had, including all of the important things to me. So now I've become kind of a hoarder in that I'm afraid to get rid of stuff. And so moving took quite a while. Well, it didn't really take a while, it was just a lot of effort. Not on my part, on my aunt's part. She said, pack up all your things and then put them downstairs and I will help you get them in the car in the morning. Well, I packed up all my stuff and I was like, I'll just put it downstairs in the morning. And then in the morning I went to school and then when I got back, she had moved everything by her little self. Thank you, Aunt Anne. And then moving day, it rained kinda hard. And so we walk into the leasing office and my aunt was just, she came in after me and she was like, there better be an elevator. So now I am here, and here is my new apartment. This is my bed. I like it because it's white, like all the Pinterest boards I made, and it also kind of looks like all the beds that you see in porn. I specifically got this dead cat pillow to go with my dead cat rug, which has Dorito stains on it. Tis the bathroom door. And now here we have fairy lights, fairy lights, fairy lights, flowers, and what could that be over there? My vanity encapsulated. Actually, this is my vanity encapsulated because the bathroom mirror was not enough. The television, which I almost never watch because I have this here lappity top. Though the TV does do a good job of hiding my stash of overpriced makeup and random things. What do I all have? Back here? Oh, I forgot I had candy back here. My bacteria basin, my porcelain god, my me, and my favorite towel. Also my only towel. But the stripe pattern goes well with my shower curtain, which leaves very little to the imagination. Now I am very excited to finally be in an apartment by myself. Not by myself, I have roommates, but they work all the time. But for that I'm still struggling with loneliness in adulthood, and I do what I always do, it seems, whenever I'm having an emotional response and I cut my hair again. Why do I keep doing this to myself? It really doesn't look that bad, if you like. Close one eye, and then the other. So I'm still dealing with the lonely aspect of adulthood, just going to school and work and being in an apartment by myself. And I'm also very anxious because it's now dawning on me. I have to pay rent every single month or I will be evicted and have to work on the streets to make money. I know that's not what's actually going to happen, but I don't want to ask my family for money just because it hurts my pride. And also, I think that I can make it by myself. All this time, I've just been scared that I, like, wasn't enough to just be an adult. And it's fine. I think I'll be fine. I am anxious, though, realizing that I don't really know how to cook. For every night that I've been here, I've had pasta, and pasta, and ramen. Mmm, carbs. So yeah, overall, I am very happy and content that I have my own apartment. I still have my family support. I have my YouTube channel, I have you guys, and I am almost done with school. Thank God. So now I am content and have direction in life. And slight anxiety. And no cooking skills.
So yeah, I think in my next video I'm going to finally tell you guys what I'm in school for because I've been I've been shying away from it this whole time, even though it's been my entire life this past year studying for this career. I just didn't want to tell anyone because I didn't want anyone to know what I'd be doing and where I might be working. So please don't stalk me. So I'm gonna tell that story in the next video of what I'm going to be as an adult. And I, uh, yeah, yeah. So I guess whenever I post next, then I will see you. Much now. I am glowing with sweat. Can I change the lighting? Thank you. No, that didn't help anything. There's really no hiding the darkness inside me.